Welcome, this is Andy from Edelweiss Interactive and in this video I'm going to show you how to create clouds in Unity using the cloud system. I've already created a new project and have imported the cloud system package. Further, I have extracted the demos and I have copied the empty scene of the demos and named it Tutorial Scene. In order to create a new cloud, you have to go to Game Object, Create Order and select Cloud. This gives you a new game object and a new prefab. And you can see that all things can be set up from the inspector. The cloud system functionality is split over several modes that you can see here. In the first one you can define things like the renderer, the particle material, how it should be tiled and you also see a preview of it over here. We are going to change our renderer to this one. I'm going to explain the other ones later on. This shader needs a sun in order to work correctly. So let's pass it a game object that represents the light for this scene. In the next step, we are going to define the shape of the cloud. Now we continue in the shape mode. In here, it's possible to define the shape of the cloud using boxes. We simply have to create boxes first, and now we have to model them. We can use Unity's transform tools, our own ones, or we can also use the QWER keys in order to manipulate those boxes. Another possibility is to set the values manually down here. Let's do it like this for the first time. Now we certainly want to see how the cloud looks. Just over here, click on create particles. Maybe it's not folded out, so just click here and create particles. You may create the particles as often as you wish. I'm going to create another shape such that the cloud looks a little bit more interesting. Let's see how this looks. Improve it a little bit. That's okay for us. As you can see down here at the moment, we have a very high particle count. The cloud consists of 200 particles. We have two possibilities to get fewer particles. Either we decrease the particle counts uh, for the boxes or we lower the density. We just do it like this for now. As you can see, we have about 130 particles now, but we can still lower the count. Still. Yeah, let's say like this. Now we go on to define what kind of particles have to be created within those shapes. Down here you can see that this box belongs to a certain particle group, named particle group. The other shape also belongs to the same one. This particle group defines what kind of particles have to be generated when we click on this button. The definition for them is in here. At the moment we just have one particle group and one particle type. Let's modify this. We can change for instance the UV index. Let's use this one. Have a look at the cloud now. 
we may also use several types. Let's add a new one and say, okay, let's use this one and maybe uh, that one and see how this looks. We may also increase the density again, maybe a little bit more. Okay, let's leave it like this. Next, we are going to have a look at the shading. Shading groups may be used to visualize individual cloud puffs. Every particle belongs to a certain shading group. It is colored depending on where it is relative to the shading group center and the sun. The closer it is to the sun, the more its color is influenced by that one, and the farther away it is, the more its color is influenced by that one. We may certainly modify this color, or even we can add more of them. You can clearly see the influence if we start to move the shading group center. Another way to modify the shading of a cloud is by using vertical colors. You may modify the colors from the bottom to the top. Just set them as you wish. If the selected renderer supports both vertical colors and shading groups, you may modify the influence of each of them in here. Now let's have a closer look at all the renderers we have. We have three groups of renderers. Custom ones, simple custom ones and the Unity Particle System renderers. The custom renderers have the advantage that the color for each particle is calculated per vertex. The disadvantage of course is that the calculation is slow. In the simple custom renderer and the Unity Particle System renderer, the colors are just calculated per particle. In here you can clearly see that this particle has a different color compared to that one and the ones at the bottom. Whereas in the custom particle system, there's a very smooth shading going through the whole cloud. The last feature I'm going to show you in this tutorial is that you can manipulate each single particle if you wish so. This is especially useful if you have a cloud with very few particles. You can just select the particle you wish to manipulate and now you can drag it if you wish. You can also rotate it. You may change the UV or do whatever you want with the cloud as long as you can then manipulate the value in here. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial about the cloud system. Thanks for watching.